Good morning, Audrey. <clears throat> um. Good morning, everyone. Today marks the first day of our trip down to Texas. Right now, we are up here in the freezing weather of Chicago. We're gonna go straight south down to Memphis tonight. And then the next day, we will head to Dallas. So yeah, we have to make it to Memphis tonight. But before we can do any of that, we have to load the trailer up, load the car on the trailer, and actually start driving. Um, and we have to load the, the trailer and the car in negative 26 degree weather. Ha, <laughs> it's fun. No, it isn't fun. Hey, Audrey, yeah. since I'm gonna be loading the trailer, I have a quest for you. Clean my cup and get some coffee in there. We also need milk. Ugh, we don't have water either. Dang it, we have to go to the store to get some groceries first. Audrey, that's disgusting. I had to blow my nose this morning. We need to get a garbage can. The worst part is you took that in your hand. It's in a, a mitten and glow. gonna work it was way too slippery we're gonna go to the front side of the building where it's sunny and not snowy she's all loaded up it's kind of sketchy the trailers got a little bit of ice on it so even though the ground was dry as soon as you got onto the back it started sliding but we got it Eight hours, 560 miles to go. Let's get on the road. I'm so excited, guys. Just driving the Miata onto the trailer, I'm, I'm so much happier. Like, I'm so ready for this. Audrey, you ready? Oh yeah. Let's go. The trailer tires were flat, so our trip ended a little bit early. Um, we just put, filled it up with air, and now we're getting diesel. But it's so freaking cold that the diesel pump is going incredibly slow. Incredibly slow. Just an FYI, ignore the mint hat. It's the only hat I have. All right, I bought it when Hagger Garage was cool still. about 100 miles. Gas is really cheap here. It is 30 cents cheaper than it was where we left from, yeah. So that's pretty good. This trip I'm trying to focus on getting better gas mileage and paying less for gas. So I'm actually paying attention to the price. I'm getting about 10 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. Better than normal. Um, we're going a lot slower than normal. We're, you know, cruising at 60 on the highway instead of 70. And that the 10 miles per hour, that, that difference, make, it, makes a, it makes quite a big difference uh, in terms of fuel economy because this thing is a parachute. It is not aerodynamic, so the faster you go, 
it just it gets worse and worse. It is kind of cold in here. The, the, the bus heat, obviously, it's kind of, you know, trying to heat a huge area and it, it can't quite keep up. Still in the negatives, I believe it's uh, like negative it's like negative four. four. Yeah. Yep. So hey, you know, it's 20 degrees warmer, but still cold as shit. <laughs> That pump was just as slow as the other one. It took us like 20 minutes to get 30 gallons of gas, which was annoying. But um, hey, 90 bucks for a full tank of diesel? I'll take it. Gonna go ahead and continue driving. I think we've decided to try to make it to Arkansas today instead of Memphis. University of Illinois is off over there to our left. Illinois' most overpriced, ah, sorry, best uh, university. Your yeah, boy, I actually applied here to go here for, it was either computer science or um, automotive engineering. Of course, I didn't get accepted. Either way, uh, I'm actually happy that I didn't go here because we wouldn't be doing this. So, everything happens for a reason. I didn't go to the really nice college, but I'm really happy, so here we are. I keep waiting for it to get warm, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's getting cloudier and cloudier as well, which sucks because the solar panels are not doing much anymore. If you're wondering why I'm suddenly taller, it's because I'm sitting on a pillow because my butt hurt because um, I've been sitting here for four hours. We're still in Illinois, still. Illinois is a very tall state and we've just been driving straight down it. Uh, we are very close to getting into the next state though, so that's exciting. We're 244 miles away from Memphis. The sun setting, which uh, is not fun. Once the sun sets, I start getting tired. It's kind of pretty though, it's very pretty though. Look at that. Here we are in um, Forest City, Arkansas, actually. I don't have my contacts in, so I can't see the camera. I have no, no idea what I'm looking at. But we showed up here like 10 p.m., went down to the McDonald's down the street, uploaded the video, and slept. I slept like a baby. It was amazing. How'd you sleep, Audrey? I'm still asleep. Yeah, look at how cozy it looks back there. It was. A little bit cold last night, but it wasn't too bad. Only problem about today is that the batteries are, are pretty discharged. The RV batteries are pretty discharged. And of course, it's really cloudy outside, so the solar panels are doing absolutely nothing. This wouldn't be a problem if we had the battery isolator, which connects the two systems batteries when the truck's running. But the one we had purchased doesn't work, and the new one I purchased was supposed to be delivered the, the day before we left. And of course, it got stolen, so, um, yeah. The only thing that can charge the bus batteries right now are the, the panels and plugging them in. Six hour journey ahead of us to Dallas, so I'm gonna go into Walmart, buy myself a belt, and we can continue. Another 385 miles to go. Got my coffee, got my car, got my bus. Let's go. There were a bunch of semi-truck drivers last night here, camping the bus which was cool. This Walmart also has these lock cops. Yeah, it has these lock cops, which was kind of annoying. Also, I went outside, it's so warm. I checked this morning, Illinois, it was five degrees, so. Multiply that by 10. What? Multiply that by 10. Yeah, multiply that by 10, 50 degrees here. There we come, Texas!
You know what really grinds my gears? Gas stations that only have diesel pumps for semi trucks. It has like an extra big nozzle, and it doesn't fit in the bus. Uh, doesn't fit in the bus um, filler cap. I can't use it. That's the point. So I just wasted 10 minutes getting off the highway for nothing. Re yes. Good, good, Audrey. Forty cents cheaper here anyway. The mic was off. Audrey left drugs on the table. And you're welcome. It's just ibuprofen though. She has some toothaches. Even though it's cloudy outside, the solar panels are still pulling in eight amps. We got this fridge. The fridge is so clutch. All of our stuff is nice and ice cold. What does that even mean? What, clutch? It's so clutch. How do you not know what clutch means though? I know what a clutch is. Well, it's not. It has nothing to do with the car related clutch. I know. Clutch is like a coming in clutch. Like if you get a touchdown in the last minute of football, that's coming in clutch. It's like, I don't know. You can't really explain coming in clutch. Well, you know, it's a stupid term. I hate it. <laughs> you want me to open it, Audrey? <laughs> Give it here. I can't snap. There you go. Arkansas oh, is actually pretty funny. pretty. Evan was talking about Audrey. <laughs> it's time to stop. Evan was talking about Evan was talking about how boring it is, but <laughs> compared to Illinois, <laughs> this is a very beautiful state. But your roads are shitty for being in the south, so it's now really sunny outside. And now I'm actually too warm. I'm sweating, but I'm not gonna complain anymore because it's so much better than negative 20 degrees. I can't wait to get outside and feel how warm it is. I think it last I checked it's like 55 degrees outside and sunny. Woohoo! Nice bus! That's the size bus right there that we want. That's a medium sized bus someday. Um, Adventure bus did very, very good. Absolutely no issues, as always. I think we're here. I hear an Evo. Hey, hey there he is. Hey! That is sick. What's the fastest car you've ridden? Um, a demon. Mm, that's faster, yeah. but this <laughs> feels cooler. I think. Oh no, I'm excited <laughs> to ride in it. Videos don't do it justice. No, it does. It looks no, so much. Yeah. I mean, that's the same thing with like everything. Lexus too. Right yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited Lexus. to see that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, we're gonna unload the Miata, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. Evan and Victoria were kind enough to invite us here to Texas for a couple days. We don't know what we're doing the next couple days, but we're gonna have fun, car stuff. Sunday we're going drifting, so you know that's why we we're gonna bring the drift truck, but that obviously didn't happen. Do this with your Evo. Actually, you might be able to. <laughs> Why don't you just pull around this side? Uh, I, I don't know. Compared to the bus, like I know this thing's not that fast, but compared to the bus, it feels like a rocket. I haven't even gotten on it yet. Oh, but those noises, I miss them so much. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it was worth the drive all the way here just to drive my own car. I feel really cool parking here. It's too little. <laughs> it is really small. It's so little. If you only had Miatas, you might be able to fit five in here. I know. Yeah. It's just true. It's a five car garage for Miatas. <laughs> These things are sweet. My least favorite parking. This Lexus. Oof. Oh, well, you got some switches. Nitrous. Uh, I don't launch think <laughs> They used to be for my, my LED light pods I had up front. Aww. The one right next to the left actually is launch control, though. This one? Yep, that's launch control. Oh, hell yeah. I can show it to you sometimes. flames? Oh, yeah. Fun. I'm not gonna make the neighbors hate me. Yeah, yeah, so. I, I figured that wouldn't be a good idea. Man. Miss your Miata. A little bit. Yeah. Right, so we made it to Texas safely. I'm super happy to be here. I'm very excited to hang out with Evan, to hang out with you guys later tonight. We're going to a car meet. Um, it's gonna be an awesome weekend. It's gonna be really fun. Gonna drive some 
well, some cool cars, and I get to drive Molly, and it's just, it's just good. Adventure Bus did great on the 14, 15-ish hour drive here. If you guys are wondering why we aren't sleeping in it, um, <clears throat> it's an adventure bus, it's really comfy, but sleeping in a house is still much better, so. <laughs> We're sleeping in Evan's house. I also wanna give a huge thanks to you guys. Nothing makes me happier than being able to travel. I love being able to see this beautiful planet that we live on. I love being able to meet awesome people. I love being able to drive cars and it's just, it's really awesome and Audrey and I would not be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much for this awesome opportunity that you have given us. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.